What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York. We are back at Irving Plaza for the first concert of 2019, and we are here with one of Finland's finest, Ensa Ferrum. Thank you, Pietre, for being here. You're welcome. And my pleasure. Yeah. yeah. It's so awesome to have you here. You're well into the record cycle for your latest record, Two Paths. Uh, how has the record cycle been and everything? Um, can I say good? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Basically, yeah. At this point in the career of Ensafirum, do you guys have like a usual formula that you stick with, or has the making of every record been its own experience? Definitely its own experience. So uh, we we don't want to copy ourselves, you know. Yeah. Just go with the basic plan and and just do another record. We want to bring out something something new for us and also for the fans so it that's why it always takes so fucking long to make that <laughs> one happen so we can get get the end result what we're looking for yeah so it's fair to say that two paths is not just a direct follow-up to one man army or like it's or like from afar is not like a continuance or something like that right every no. record stands yeah. out yes yeah, yeah. now um what I've always noticed with Ensafirum, I really feel like your music has just as much emphasis on lyrics and concept as the music is. I feel like your music tells a lot of stories. Do you think of these stories first and write music according to that? Or do you have to he hear some music before like a whole story is written? Uh, in this case, music actually comes first. Okay. And then, then the lyrics will be fitted on that one. And uh, the lyrics is our bass player, Samis responsibility kind of it's kind of fallen into his hands so uh he could maybe tell a little bit more of, about that one but yeah. yeah music comes first okay now as a lot of people know you also used to play with uh norther and um i was curious to how different like of a mind frame uh you're in with ensafirum as opposed to when you were with norther <laughs> uh well norther was party first and after that one comes whatever <laughs> needed to be done, yeah. <laughs> basically. So, uh, uh, well, Norther was, it, it was kind of like serious, but it was more on the fun side, serious type of thing. Yeah. And uh, this is now the, the main job of the whole band. So uh, it's more, well, Let's put it this way. We try to be more professional on this one <laughs> than, than previous ones. Yeah. Well, I've noticed that your shows are very, like, uh, have a great sense of humor and a great vibe to them. I'm curious now, because that just led to the next question. Um, you know, when you're playing your material live versus in the studio, do you like, is it a completely different feeling playing these songs because of the interaction you have with the crowd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it is. Every, every night is totally different. There is no exactly two two of the same shows, really. Yeah, there it's so, there's always something, uh, new location, different sound. Uh, like yesterday, it was Baltimore yeah. sound stage, and tonight over here, you can already feel the difference on during, during the sound check. Like, really? Yeah, the sound wise, and uh, and of course, people are different. Last night was really fucking good wow. as a, as a like a tour starter first show really awesome we were just like 21 tickets short of sold out last night really yeah so it was 479 yeah people over there so it was really awesome and they really loved it yeah a lot so hopefully we can get that one tonight over here we're gonna top it yeah, tonight yeah, we're, yeah. we're new york we're the best yeah you gotta you you better do your best yeah i remember <laughs> when you were here with uh corpa Klani, uh i can't believe that was almost four years ago but yeah, yeah. but uh that was a very loving audience i gotta yes. say yeah yeah. Now, um, what I was um, always curious about is Ensafirum has elements of death metal, elements of folk metal. There's lots of different elements in there. Does having so many elements in your music make it easier to try new things? Yeah, sure. It doesn't, like, put us on a just one type of genre, you know? We got a mix of quite a lot of stuff in it now, now after all these albums. So, uh I don't know. Well, and also on the, for the future wise, it's going to be pretty interesting to see what we can dig up because yeah. we can actually do and go whatever direction we just dare to go, actually. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we got death metal. We got folk. We got some slower songs. We got some really fast ones. So there's a lot of variety in it. Yeah. yeah. And would you say that that allows you to play with different types of bands? You're playing with Septic Flesh, which is a very heavy band tonight. But the last time I saw you, you were playing with Corpa Klani, which is very folky and yeah. stuff. Is, are, so is it fair to say that you get to play with different types of bands? Yeah. Well, we are very much labeled as like this folk, Viking, heathen, whatever. I think we're just a band <laughs> <laughs> who plays like very melodic music, heavy metal wise. And uh, well, so far so good. People seem to dig it. Yeah. All over. Yeah. Now, by having a very heavy part and a very melodic part, do you have to have melody first and then write the heavier parts over that? Or do you have like heavier riffs written and then the melody comes second? Mm. Kind of depends on the writing mood, what you have at, at that particular moment. But uh, I think they go pretty much hand in hand. You know, sometimes you can get a really good melody and then you start to check it out, like the background for it, and you p turn out to be a really good riff and you just throw away the melody because the riff is so good. <laughs> and sometimes other way around, so... Uh, yeah. 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 Now I have uh, two more questions for you. Um, you know, Ensiferum has had a lot of uh, contributions from other members and stuff like that. Has, having, has working with multiple members in Ensiferum, has that allowed newer elements to be brought in as well? You mean the long list of members yeah. in the band? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's... Well, the biggest change came at 2004 and five yeah. after the second album, Iron. And uh, so there was just a one short period of time when there was just me as a kind of new member in the yeah. band. And I was supposed to just be replacing Yari for one tour in 2004. So that's like 15 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And here I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> Still filling in, right? Still filling in, yeah. yeah. Uh, but then came the, uh, the change of drummer and bass player also in the band. And uh, after that one, it's been kind of like steady. Yeah. For the for the main part, except then there's been the the keyboard player changes a yeah. couple of times, but uh, yeah, of course, people are different. They play different. They write completely different type of style on everything. So, uh, uh, but the main point is still still the same that uh, we we don't want to put out stuff what we are not satisfied by yeah. ourselves. We have maybe a little bit too high hmm. self criticism when that's always think, good yeah it is but then it also means that when we get something done then like two weeks go by and you listen to the rehearsal place recording like nah <laughs> that fucking sucks and then maybe a week later like it's actually pretty good you know yeah. so it's really different hard to to put an end to the writing process you know just when you think you have it ready, then goes some time, and then you listen to it again, and it's like, nah, it's, it's kind of missing something, even though it might not be actually missing anything, but you're just want to do something new, 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 new yeah. all the time. So it gets complicated, and it's time-consuming, and it just takes a fucking a lot of time. I can yeah, imagine. Yeah. How do you know when like a song is done? Um, good fucking question. Uh, I get a different answer every time. So. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Um, I think you kind of feel it, you yeah. know, like all the parts fit together. You know, vocals are good. The composing of it, arrangements, everything. You're like, I, I cannot figure out anything what I could do different on this one. Then it basically hit the hammer done move yeah. on to the next one 
Yeah. yeah. And uh, one other question I'd like to ask you is, you know, obviously you're one of the many bands from Finland that, you know, I think you guys are like the 17th band from Finland I've interviewed, uh, Law Society, Taria, yeah. and Omnium Gatherum, Insomnium. Like, what I'm curious is, and I always like to ask this, because Finland is such a known metal capital of the world, even so much that even Obama mentioned it when he met, like, the... <laughs> the yeah. So, like, uh... Does that did it make it easier to kind of does it make it easier to start a band in Finland because of how many uh, metal bands are from there? Could say yeah, you know, but because you can see the the success of of the bands, you know, it, it's it's kind of hard to say in the end. Well, of course, the band needs to be good. Yeah, you know, the music needs to be good. If you do shitty music, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, that's just a fact. Yeah, but, I would uh, hope so. Yeah, yeah, but it might be a, like encouraging to starting up bands to follow their footsteps on other bands who made it already. Um, yeah, I would. I would say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So before we go, I'd like to thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome. Um, just, uh, you know, now that Two Paths is hitting uh, the two-year-old mark, I know you're hit, heading to 70,000 tons of metal this year, but uh, yeah. is there just anything else with Ensiferum that we could be expecting in terms of music or tours? Uh, kind of hard to say. Uh, we are, well, after the tour, we're going to go home for a couple of weeks, then we're going to stop by at Australia. For, oh, wow. For couple of shows and then there is some time off when we should be uh, focusing on writing new new stuff hopefully we could get into the studio kind of I don't know ASAP but I don't want to say any kind of time schedule for it because I know it's not gonna hold yeah <laughs> so well as soon as possible we would like to get something new out yeah, I interviewed yeah. one band like many years ago. They said, "Oh, we'll hit the studio soon," and like I'm still waiting on like yeah, news. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, thank you so much, Pietre. You're welcome, everybody. Pietre of Ensiferum, pick up two pass if you haven't yeah. already. This is Alex from Heavy New York. We'll see you next time. First concert of 2019. All right.